You're the cream of the crop. You're the you're the top guys. You you dive the deepest and and you you're doing the, the hardest jobs. Anything over 165 feet, that's considered mixed gas, so it will have to be done by saturation. I've known companies have done over a thousand foot sats. My deepest was 621 feet. I came to school here at Divers Institute of Technology and then Further my career as a sat diver at the in Tasmania, Australia for my sat ticket. You're living in a, in a small chamber, pressurized to the storage depth of, of where you're actually working. A chamber is probably 15 to 20 feet long, two bunks on the top and two bunks down below, and a small pathway in between. You're living in that chamber for 28 days, you're breathing a helium an oxygen mixture. You transfer into a bell. That bell locks off to the saturation system and then the bell takes you down to the job. And you're diving with either a two-man team or a three-man team for six hours in the water. And once that dive's done, you, you, the, you go back to the bell. The bell mates back onto the system and you're still under pressure in the sat chamber and the next team goes. There's no decompression until the end of your 28 days or the end of the time, and then that team will start decompression. Every 100 foot, that's one day, and then you add a day on top of it. So if you're at 300 feet, it will be a four-day decompression. I'm installing new pipelines, installing flanges, installing clamps. Most of it is, is dealing with heavy equipment. The flanges that we have are, are 16 to, to 42 inch flanges. One bolt and two nuts are, are over 100 pounds. Uh, so you're using lift bags or, or a buoyancy aid to help you move uh, just the bolts. And there's, there's 28 or 30 bolts per flange. We just did the first hot taps in Indian waters. There's actually a live oil line on the bottom of, this, of the seabed, and you're actually drilling into this live hot line and changing the direction of flow of, of oil. The visibility was, was amazing. You could see, you could see the, the bottom of the ship. Most of the time, you're, you have no visibility and you're, you're up to your knees in mud. You're looking for something you can't see until you run into it. When you drop out and into the unknown and you know that I, I could be the first guy that's actually stood here, you're in a, you're in a, you're in a different world. I love sat diving. I, uh, I'm home now for, for two months and I can't wait to get back offshore right now. Every day is something new. Thank <laughs> you.